That bomb should help us out. feel like no matter what we do in Alphon, we wind up hurting Dark Hill. We are down here to help the creature you heard. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. <laughs> Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. Okay.
largest bloody half goof I've ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Lunch. We'll get you out. What is that name? Well, the last squid thingy we saw was Diener, so... Oh, boy. Well, I appreciate... attempt at humor. That little brother is truly awful workplace. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, we can't all be winners. <gasps> There's got to be a way to clear those rocks. Get a better angle. Why did they trap it down here? Hafkafers are known to burrow. Well, I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the dark elves. Any more than the light belongs to the light elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the light elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the dark elves make effective use of it out here in the barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Then let us free it.
This is the spot. We can cut the hot Koopa loose here. It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye, perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered? He just wants to spend time with you, lad. Well, he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. Like a lot of the sand is cleared up, but there's another storm out that way. You think that means another half? Ah! Ah! Hey, this seems like a good time to try and remember all the terrible stories about Thor and Odin. Not now. Back to Thor and Odin's story? Oh, really? Okay. There was Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye. He quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him. Found Thor and Finn. Prepare for a fight. took a stealthy approach to our next battle. No. <gasps> okay. What other terrible things have Odin and Thor done? There was Groa, of course. The Knowledge Keeper and Prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. Enough. We will continue later. <laughs> Should we get back to listing all the awful deeds of the Aesir gods? Can't forget Amir. The first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body, and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? 
They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Well, admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. Old. We will finish later. Thor and Odin stories to remember? What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best. But not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same. Oh, I know. There was Skavi, queen of the hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections. So he tricked her into killing her father. Let this wait. Stay alert. it means seeing more raiders come back as hellwalkers later. That queen the Valkyrie Queen was supposed to restore balance to the realms. We keep that from happening. That's a good question, lad. And a troubling one. If hell's filled up again, it suggests that something's been hindering Sigrun's efforts. Or perhaps something even more urgent is keeping her distracted and unable to visit. <laughs> even occasionally. Yeah. Sorry, Mimir. Ugh. <sighs> 